Hey, what's up, my little tattletales, and what's up, Sussex Squad? Y'all, we got a legal victory that everybody's keeping quiet, and no, it's not Harry um, suing the Daily Fail. At least, it's not his victory yet. We are talking about Miss Megan the Markle. What are we talking about? If you don't know, her sister Samantha Markle filed the dumbest lawsuit. Basically trying to say that she defamed her by saying that she was raised as the only child. To which everybody said, girl, shut up. But listen, Samantha Markle, your own children don't talk to you. And you got the nerve to be coming from Megan. Well, guess what? God don't like ugly. And he sure didn't like the way Samantha Markle was looking because Megan has gotten that lawsuit dismissed. Now, isn't it funny that the Daily Mail was all over this? The Royals were even rumored to, that were going to actually testify at, at her lawsuit um, in a way to defame Megan and get out sensitive information, trying to get around the Queen's never complain, never explain. Let me tell y'all something. The Queen is dead and so is to never complain, never explain. Y'all, the lawsuit was officially, and when I say officially, I mean officially dismissed. It was dismissed, okay? Point of order. It was dismissed um, in the United States District Middle uh, Middle District of Florida, Tampa Division, Samantha M. Markle and Meghan Markle. The cause is before the court on defendant Meghan Markle's motion to dismiss the First Amendment complaint from her low good, low down, no good conniving sister. Okay, I didn't say that, but you know, I got to put a little 20 on 10. They said for the reason set below, the court grants the motion to dismiss and it will be dismissed with prejudice what does that mean what does that mean it will be dismissed and they cannot ever bring up this lawsuit again without prejudice means we're dismissing it but you can bring it into a court of law again when you're ready as long as it's under the statute of limitations oh no 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 it was dismissed completely they said um they it was dismissed for failure to state a claim for rent relief can be granted it, the plaintiff's defamation case based on the contents of the book Finding Freedom are dismissed with prejudice. The plaintiff's claims based on uh, Megan's CBS interview and her claim for injurious falsehoods are dismissed without pre with prejudice. I'm sorry, without prejudice. So she can bring, bring up the claims for the CBS interview, but let's get into this, right? The plate they're saying Samantha will have will be allowed one final opportunity to replete her claims related to the CBS interview. Um, for the foregoing reason, they grant the motion to dismiss. They said Samantha's claims based on finding freedom will be dismissed with prejudice as plaintiff cannot plausibly allege that Megan published the book. And amendment of these claims would be futile, would be futile, right? Oh, um, the plaintiff will be allowed one final opportunity. Y'all listen, Samantha Markle was nothing but a puppet and a pawn of Pierce Morgan. I'm sure she's waiting for her payoff to go to the morning talk show so she can talk real big and bad. But I'm sure that is ultimately not going to happen. Why is that? Because the Daily Mail is running scared. Harry is not backing down. The king is doing whatever he can to throw... Um, I don't know, monkey wrenches in their plot, but everybody says that they think that they're doing that on behalf of, um, on behalf of, uh, the, the Associated Press. Now, let me just be clear about this because I think it actually does need to be said. Megan, M Megan Markle, I keep calling her, Samantha Markle was nothing but a tool. William, Kate, Charles, they were all considering having their private secretaries and Jason Noth was rumored to be ready to actually testify in a court of law. They were going to give out frivolous information, things to smear her, things to deny. They asked for an overreaching when it came to discovery. Discovery is when people are like, hey, like, you know, what evidence do you have? Because you just can't spring evidence on me in court. In discovery, they were going to overreach in discovery. They wanted to see text communications between Megan, her sister, I'm sorry, her father, 
her mother, between Oprah, between her best friend. They were doing nothing but fishing for information. And Megan said no. Megan said no. This is a one-two punch. And let's also not forget that the royal family is saying that Harry has ultimately burned the bridge between them. He has burned the bridge between them because he exposed in court papers the secret agreement between the tabloids and the royal family. And he has exposed that even when his phones were hacked at 12 years old and his privacy horribly invaded, he has exposed that his family didn't even tell him, even though they knew that he could sue, which is why he waited till 2018, 2019, when he met Megan to sue. Y'all. But anyway, sorry, I got sidetracked. They did not even tell him why he couldn't sue. Listen, it is getting deep. Now, why is that so important? Because in his court papers, he said that other family members have been victim of the Associated Press or whatever it is, that, um, the news of today, whatever, news of the world. Um, they be- Actually, let me get this right. Plenty of people have been victim of the Daily uh, Mail and the way they do their business in the royal family. However, they choose to do nothing. And they also chose to hide information that they could do something. And they also said that those same family members, right, um, expected them to do something. Um, But isn't it funny? Isn't it funny that the person they're talking about is William? In the court papers, apparently Harry is talking about when William's phone was also hacked and Kate was harassed for six years. Let's not forget her topless pictures, her harassment, her all this. William knew about it. He told Harry about it. And when Harry looked to him for guidance, William was like, that's just the way things are. Let it go. When he even went above them as a 12 year old being like, this is not fair. Why does this happen? He was told to let it go y'all could this be why william and kate are actually really fighting not because what happened in fighting freedom no 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 no. not because what happened in spear but because kate did honestly go through the most horrific time of her life again it was completely different than what megan went through but it was hard and they broke her because of that And she went through all this thinking that William had absolutely no control over it. Only to find out that William was in bed with them, with the tabloids. And William was throwing Kate under the bus so he could get a favorable edit. All those, all those articles about Kate being lower class, Kate being a social climber, Kate, 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 all the things that caused her humiliation, all the reasons everybody was laughing at her. William had some type of power and control to do something, mitigate, or at least call them out. And baby, let me tell you something. Harry's despair, and he still went to war with them. William is the next king to be. They can get a little bit too jiggy with it, but not too much. It looks like William allowed that because it took away from them focusing on his life, his proclivities, what he was doing. Let's also not forget before Harry there was Kate. Everybody in William's reign must sacrifice whatever they can to prop him up and make him look good. Y'all listen, Harry exposed so much in those court papers. I'm going to have to come back to it. But y'all listen, stay tuned because something big rumors are coming is coming out of the Sussex office and the palace is not taking this lightly, but like everything they do, they will make a fool of themselves when they respond. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. I will talk to you later. Bye.